Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft, as I have been posting, has officially ended support for Cortana on Windows 10 and Windows 11, and the standalone app has been deprecated um, in both OSs. Now, because of this, I asked you guys the question last week in our most recent poll. So the question is, will you miss Cortana? And out of the 573 votes cast to date, the majority of you, 86% of you say, no, you will not be missing Cortana on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And this doesn't didn't come as a surprise to me. Um, I did think that most users uh, would not miss Cortana as I didn't think too many people uh, were using Cortana when it was still available. And for most, it was considered bloatware. And there were users always looking for ways to get rid of Cortana on both OSs because you couldn't officially uninstall the app. And that's all set to change because Microsoft is going to be making uninstall the app and um, uninstalling the app available in future releases of Windows 10 and Windows 11. And um, because the app has now disappeared into the so-called sunset and is no more, um, just a quick background on the app. Um, Cortana was Microsoft's personal productivity assistant and it could do things like manage your calendar and keep your schedule up to date. You could join a meeting in Microsoft Teams or find out who your next meeting was going to be with. You could create and manage lists, set reminders and alarms, find facts, definitions and info, and open apps on your computer. Now, Cortana was a digital assistant. And as I have been posting, the reason Microsoft has deprecated the app is they are making way for the new AI assistant, artificial intelligent assistant called Windows Copilot, which is bringing um, centralized AI to the Windows 11 desktop which is going to be a web container placed on the Windows 11 desktop, which you can initiate by clicking on the taskbar icon as I have been posting in previous videos. So um, Windows Copilot is currently being tested in the Insider program, and we are expecting it to roll out with the 23H2 feature update um, later this year for Windows 11. And it will be able to do all of those things I did mention for Cortana. And over and above that, um, you will be able to get answers to complex questions, uh, you will eventually be able to take actions on your PC. So you'll be able to um, ask the Copilot to change settings um, on your PC. And also, as an example, you'll be able to ask it to change from dark to light mode and light mode to dark mode and so on. And you can also work across documents. So it's basically going to be a souped up version of the older digital assistant and Cortana. That's why Microsoft has replaced Cortana now and will be replacing Cortana with Windows Copilot on Windows 11. Now, if we just head back to those poll results, I actually fell into the yes category, in the 10% category, which fell far behind as we can see. And my reason for saying yes, I will miss Cortana is not because I actually use the app. I actually never use the app on a day-to-day -day basis. But uh, for me, Cortana has a bit of a soft place when it comes to a um, little personal story. Because if we head over to my um, YouTube channel, Cortana was one of the first videos I posted on, on this channel, and it is now my seventh most viewed video on the channel. And I posted this video, how to enable Cortana if it is not available in your region more than two years ago. And that's why I'll miss it, because um, this this video um, meant quite a lot to me when I first rolled, rolled it out, and uh, it started to do... Um, you know, well, considering that I just started my channel. And the main reason why I will miss Cortana is because this video actually helped a lot of people enable Cortana if it wasn't available uh, in their region. So that's why I'll miss Cortana, not because I used it on a day-to-day -day basis, as mentioned, only because um, of that video. And um, although most um, users of the app um, thought it was blow bloatware and obviously won't miss Cortana, there was a small subset of users um, as I have seen in the comments um, with posting that video that actually did use Cortana. So nonetheless, 86% of you um, say you will not be missing Cortana as a standalone app on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And obviously that's because now Microsoft has deprecated the app on both operating systems. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.